Yo, yo, Rangulius here. You are watching Wrench Feels Like Playing Kingdom Come Deliverance. Um, so we are going to continue on with the story here. Uh, we just ended up seeing our family just get killed uh, by some invaders. Um, and we were just building a sword for some lord guy. And uh, when we were going to send the sword to him, we ended up getting attacked. And... Uh, now I'm on the run, trying to get to the stables, and trying to escape to another town to go get help, I guess, is the is the goal, so. And then we are running away with that uh, freshly made sword. Um, I'm assuming that's just going to be our sword moving forward. Maybe not, but uh, we're going to continue on right now. The alchemy, if you need another task of flavor snaps. Oh, shit. Uh, you'll get it from a traver or at a tattered. Better yet, an apothecary. Oh, shit. I just got hit. Shit, how do you, like... Shit. Ah! Uh, I wasn't expecting getting hit. Drunkenness, alcohol. Why the hell do I have all this tutorial shit right here? I'm running away, aren't I? Ah! Uh, I'm dying. Holy shit. How do you... I'm so confused. I am so confused. Am I about to die? Bleeding. Damn. I was trying to run away. It looks like I'm going to get hit. I'm so confused. Learn Kumas new code. What the fuck, dude? Bleeding. Can't see shit. I don't know what's going on. I'm getting hit. I'm getting killed. I'm probably going to die here. What the hell? Okay, well, that was a great way to start this playthrough. Sure. A uh, village lad like you has no chance of defending, defeating the fearsome Kumans. Better to run and save your skin. I was trying to run. I, w I literally was trying to run, and I was just getting hit from behind. From a guy wearing heavy armor. Like, how was he able to keep up with me? <clears throat> well... I just saved right before that. Probably shouldn't have done that because I wasted a, a save thing. Kind of sucks. Kind of wasted a save. Well, I'm going to reload and I, I assume I'm supposed to run. I was trying to run, like I said, and it just seemed like I was getting hit no matter what there. Maybe it's because I was trying to read. But, like, if I start running... Like, why is it popping up like drunkenness? Like, why do, why do I care about that right now? Speech, strength, as though overindulge after effectiveness can be less than pleasant. I'm so confused why that even popped up. Like, why even bring that up right now? Why does drunkenness matter right now? That's a, this just seems like a weird time to bring it up. I'm supposed to run to the stables? Just kind of trying to keep my stamina up. Do I have to... Can I jump the fence? Nope. Maybe I missed the opening? Yeah, I feel like... We run down here. Whistling. How do I get on? Triangle? Inspect? Uh, what the hell just happened there? Inspect? Mount? Why? <sighs> Sometimes I get frustrated when things have to... Like, when tutorial shit pops up and I'm supposed to be freaking doing shit. Uh, you can call your horse by pressing Y... But your whistle will also be heard by people within the earshot, which sometimes can be a disadvantage. While on the other hand, it can also be a way of distracting attention. You can then use your m mount, then use. M you can then mount your horse using Y. Jeez Louise, I am. 
all flustered right now. Um, you can call your horse anytime by whistling and then mounting it. Trot is the default speed of a horse. Canter ideally combines speed and stamina. Gallop is fastest but also drains your horse's stamina. Uh, follow a path. Your horse is smarter than some people and will stick to the path you're on if you give him his head. Just begin canter and don't steer him. Your horse's stamina indicator will deplete when galloping. If you try to push your horse, then its stamina will low. When its stamina is low, it may throw you. Good to know. Galloping can be exhausting and can deplete your stamina too, especially if you're not an experienced experienced horseman. So both stamina, both my stamina and the horse's stamina goes down if we're sprinting. Okay. I am mounting the horse. I am running away. I am galloping. I am entering. It's kind of awkward. Camera is kind of weird. But I'm just not going to hold aim or anything. I'm just going to canter. Do I want to yeah. run? If I hold. Yeah. Doesn't look like I can run on a road. Maybe I'm wrong. That sucks. So I already died once. Everyone's dying. I'm running away. Oh, shit. I'm not supposed to understand, I guess. Got shot in the leg. Damn it. Shit. Bleeding. You're bleeding. Yeah. You won't know how to bandage your wounds. You need to find someone who can help you. What the fuck? Holy shit. I just got hit with no more arrows? Am I just getting hit and hit? Damn, dog. Holy shit. I just don't want to lose stamina of the horse. I don't know how quickly it depletes here. Hit a fast travel point. Just over shrine. All right, my health is really low now. My stamina is going down. I'm gonna unstamina, kind of just start trotting again. And then I'll try running again. This is kind of shitty. Am I just supposed to run away? Damn, I got hit a bunch. I think I hear them chasing me. Go! They'll kill you all! Flee! So I have to press forward in order to actually like run run. Oh come on, dude! A bush? Shit! Shit. Oh, Holy man. fuck! My still horse's stamina is almost done. Damn it, dude. How the hell are you supposed to do this? I feel like my horse is going to want to buck me off at this point. Okay, we're going to just start to canter now. Hopefully my horse's stamina will get back up here. Ah! Yeah! Damn, man. This is rough, dude. Ride to Tomberg? Okay. Got hit by like 20 arrows here. Only one's still sticking. Oh, 
quickly, everyone. Get your asses here. Hey, and loose. No one got hit. The fuck? You guys need to be better at your jobs. We're closing the gate. Someone give him a drink and bring hot wine and bandages. Tell me, boy, who are you and where are you from? What in hell's name happened? I've come from Scalitz. They burned it to the ground, slaughtered everyone. Who? Who burned it to the ground? A huge army. They attacked without warning, and, and they weren't Czechs or Germans either. Who then? I don't know. I've never seen armor like it or heard their language. Maybe Tartars? Ah. Huh. Tartars, you say? Yeah. Well, we'll deal with that later. First, let's have a look at that leg of yours. I, I don't know. Grit your teeth, boy. I'm going to pull that hair out. Passed out. Easy. All done. You were lucky, lad. The arrow missed the bone. It only needed bandaging, and I've done that often enough before. War is a good teacher. Can you stand? Sure. Right after I got shot in the leg. There you go. Good as new. I'm sure that would hurt Thank a you. lot. If you idlers nothing better to do, get back to work. You'll have to speak to Lord Divish. Can you manage? Divish. I'll go. Sir, this is a survivor from... I heard, Robart. Tell me, boy, what exactly happened? Did you see the insigns of the attackers? And were there any more survivors? So, um, I don't know what army it was, but it was huge. There were dozens of banners flying on the hill above Scalitz. The ones who did the slaughtering spoke a, a, a strange language. They burned scallops to the ground. But a lot of people took refuge in the castle. I wasn't quick enough. And as I fled, they shouted from the battlements that I should come and warn you. The soldiers the boy didn't recognize. They could be those Cumans of Sigismund's. It said they came to Hungary from the east, and now they're the core of his army. Sacking Gutenberg. Must have given him a taste for stolen silver. Scalus is a small castle, sir. If Sigismund attacks, they can't hold. Indeed, Sir Robard. And our small garrison would be no help, even if we could risk sending them. Do you think we're next in line? Maybe. What's your name, boy? I'm Henry, son of the Scalitz blacksmith. I know him. Did he make it inside the castle? No. I'm sorry. It's in God's hands now. No one else can help us. Anyway, thank you for risking your neck to warn us. And his voice does not match. Robard, take care of Henry. Make sure he gets something to eat and some rest. Yes, sir. And. Get all the people inside the gates. We have to prepare for the worst. Make all the necessary arrangements. As you command, sir. 
Sounds like I'm talking to someone like 30 years younger. Ride to Tomberg. Talk to Sir Robart. My health is back at full. I think. What happened with that black I am not too sure. Um, that's up. Hey! Well, get the fuck out of the way. Sir Robert. You've done well, lad. I'm sorry for your loss. You must be all done in. Why don't you go to the kitchen and have a good meal? Sorrow is easier to bear on a full stomach. Sure it is. You fled they say he was Scarlet. a swordsmith who moved the country. How did you manage that? I heard about my father. I don't understand why he'd waste his talents, but I'm sure he had his reasons. He had a fine reputation. It's a great loss. Hmm. Ah, I'm the lady. You are fortunate our good lady Stephanie of Talmberg has graced us with her presence. My lady, I'm honored. So this is our brave young man. Welcome, lad. Bojena here will take care of you. No doubt you're tired and hungry. <laughs> Indeed. How could he not be, poor soul? After everything he's been through, he must be as hungry as a bear. Aren't you, young master? Here you are, then. Eat your fill. Hard to imagine he's smiling. Wash it down. Thank you, my lady. <clears throat> when you're done, you can go and rest with the grooms in the outer valley. No, that won't do, Sir Robard. After all he's been through, he deserves a proper bed. Let him sleep in a lodge in the courtyard. Certainly, my lady. Hmm. Young Henry here is overwhelmed by your generosity. Oh, yes, yes. Thank you, my lady. May God reward you for your kindness. Eat up now. You're in capable hands, so I'll leave you to it. Good night. Good night. Good night, ma'am. That's, that's the lady of the castle, I guess? When you've done, you can sleep in the bedchamber of the courtyard lodge. And don't forget to take off those filthy boots before getting into bed. Yeah, because I'm just going to sleep with my boots on. Something to eat. So the longer you go hungry, the weaker you get. In the end, you can't even die. Shit. Different foods have different properties. Oh shit, I didn't read all that. Lentil mash. Pick it up. And I didn't eat it. Bread roll. Roast stick, roasted duck. Do I just pick it all up? I'm kind of a hoarder, so uh, you present me with stuff I can just pick up. I'm just gonna pick it all up. Please tell me what happened in Scarlet. I have kin there. Uh, everyone died. Move out of my way. I guess we can talk. It was awful. They torched Rovna on their way. Sigmus came with his army. Ascended on scouts. I have a negative one to my it's probably to my charisma, probably because I'm hungry. Well, I'll just I don't give a fuck. Who this guy is? Let's go. Sigmund's massive army descended on Skelts. Sigmund's army appeared out of nowhere. There were so many of them, not just infantry, but cavalry too. And these foreign mercenaries with their strange helmets and the, the souls of beasts. Heavens above. Rep gained. I didn't make it inside I the, castle. the castle for shelter with the others. Behind me, I could hear the shouts of the attackers and the screams of the wounded. 
Then I turned and saw a father trying to save mother. They... They were both killed. The gate was closed by then. The men on the battlements were calling to me to run and warn you here. And with God's help, I made it. That's horrible. You were very fortunate to survive. And God bless you for warning us. I'll pray for you, lad. All right. So, I just learned there that with the dialogue system comes time. You have you have to, like, make a decision within a couple seconds. I'm trying to... So, I am going to... Food... I go lentil mash. Lentil mash is a staple of countryside cuisine. Nourishment, nine. Fresh fish, 99%. So food goes bad. 86% fresh. Damn, okay. So stuff goes bad over time. Well, we'll take the lentil mash. My, my nourishment's at zero right now. Uh, eat. Now it's at nine. Cheese. Nineteen. But it takes energy to do that. Bread roll. Bread roll. Apple. Damn. It takes quite a bit out of you to eat. What the fuck? My speech is going down. My career, or maybe it's going back up. I have no energy. Maybe that's why my speech and everything went down. I wonder if energy... <laughs> I completed the task of eating. <sighs> so my energy is like really low because I'm tired. So I need to go to bed. Interesting. Is there more food I can take? Wine. Jeez, Louise. My eyes are like droopy. Wow. Interesting mechanic. Rob? I can rob them? Okay, let's go and find a bed. In the courtyard. Um, he said across the stable? Damn, dog. I am like droopy droopy. Come on, man. Uh, maybe this place? Dude. Holy shit. Oh, those are stairs, not a wood pile. Uh, can I stay here? You're in a private area. Oh shit, sorry. Shit, sorry. Is this thing? Tiredness. If you are tired, your stamina and eloquence will also gradually decrease. Tiredness, sleep, is the solution. Find an available bed which you'll recognize from the icon on the compass. Your bed. Oh shit. Oh, whatever. So I can sit there. Whoa. This guy's just like wanted to talk. How ill mannered. How ill mannered. Fuck you. What the fuck? I'm sure I heard something. I'm so confused. Well, my boots are still on and I'm probably gonna sleep. Do I have to take my boots off? Sleep. Um... Effects. Comfort, 50%. Nourishment, 84. Energy, 22. Health, 100. So, obviously, I'd like my energy to... 12 hours? What the fuck? Can't sleep any longer now. That'll take me to 7. But I'm like... My energy is only going up to 91 for 12 hours. That's nuts, dude. 
Well, we're gonna just go full 12 hours, I guess. If you see anything out of the ordinary, report it immediately. Understood. Yes, sir. Yes? It is I, Henry. Forgive the intrusion. I didn't wake you, boy, did I? Uh, my lady, uh, um... No, no, not at all. But what brings you here at this hour? Good question. I thought you could do with a little wine. Sure. It's just what you need to help you sleep. My lady, um, thank you. You really shouldn't. You could have sent a servant. I was going to, but to tell you the truth, I couldn't sleep either. How did you know I couldn't I sleep? I thought of you while saying my prayers. How awful it must have been for you. I came to offer you solace. To let you know you're not alone. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you kindly. You're welcome. Now, Henry. I know this is all very new and strange for you. But I want you to feel at home here. You're not to worry about anything except getting better. God knows you've been through a terrible ordeal. Yeah, just saw my family get killed I right in front of me. I know what it is to be left alone in the world. Although your loss is much greater. But with God's help, the pain will ease in time. And it can help to talk about it. If you feel like it. Alright, alright, alright. Tell the story. Right, my lady. I'll tell you what happened. It was terrible and unexpected. The day started just like any other. Father sent me into town on some errands. Why am I staring at a wall? I went to the tavern to buy ale for father. I know it's a job for a groom, but I didn't mind. Because my girl Bianca worked there. I courted her a while and we agreed to meet in the evening. But our meeting was never to happen. Oh dear boy. When I'd done all the errands, I headed back home. I promised father I'd help him with his work and I was looking forward to it. He was forging a sword for Sir Radzik. Talked about life. Sir Radzik came to look at the sword. I've been learning sword fighting. I'll just go, Sir Radzik. Radzik was taking shape when Sir Radzik himself came to have a look at it. He praised father's work and said that with Try his to tell the truth most, most he could of the easily time. make a living in Prague or Vienna. They're being super say. nice. But Sigismund's horde was already on the horizon, ready to attack the town. I saw smoke on the horizon from a village Sigismund pillaged on the way to our town, which was soon to meet the same fate. God have mercy. And then death descended on Scalitz. Father told me to take shelter in the castle while he went to get mother. She was stranded in the town, surrounded by Sigismund butchers. And then I saw him knocking down one human after another. I never saw him fight like that. But then the leader of Sigismund's raiding party, a knight in full armor, saw father and charged at him. He cut down my father without a thought. Yep. And then he turned on my mother. And he murdered her in cold blood. Yep. Poor boy. May the Lord have mercy on their souls. I ran to the castle like our neighbors to take cover, but I didn't make it. I had to find another way to save myself. The men on the battlements called down to me to flee to Talmberg and warn you. I was lucky I knew a concealed path around the castle. Weird that you have like timers on some of this stuff. I needed a I horse. I needed a horse to get to the safety of Talmberg and to warn you all. 
And with all that was happening, you thought of others like a good Christian. Then I heard a scream. It was Teresa, the mill wench. She'd been caught by a gang of human savages who planned to violate her. I don't remember I that. I had Sir sword, and even though there were several of them and they were better armed, I had to try and save her. I wanted there to be at least one person I'd helped. And I succeeded, even though it almost cost me my life. After that, I stole a horse from them and rode off. Like a valiant knight. I'll never forget the horror. I didn't do that. It will haunt me for the rest of my life. What the hell? That's terrible. How could something like that happen? God alone knows I guess I missed something? such things happen. You poor boy. I understand your grief, but God is not to blame for the ills of this world. That is the work of Satan and those who do his bidding. Those who are corrupted by greed, envy, and pride. You must not lose faith, whatever life brings. Fate has not been merciful to me and my husband either. Although in comparison to the horrors you went through. I was young when I married my husband. It was my father's wish. Divish was a lot older than I, but a woman must bear her lot. Shortly after our marriage, before I even got a look at Talmberg, the castle was stormed and my husband was imprisoned. Really? My husband had some quarrel with Sir Havel Medek of Valdek, who decided to resolve it by force. He stormed the castle, burned down the village of Pribislavitz, and killed many of our men, oh, even the old Chamberlain. He imprisoned my husband in the castle and put his own garrison there. That's awful. I was barely 18 years old and all of a sudden, I was left alone with Sir Robert. We didn't know what to do. We went to Prague to appeal to the king and sought help from Divish's friends, but all to no avail. We tried for years, but it seemed I was destined to be left alone and my husband to rot in jail in his own castle. Years, huh. you say? Seven years. That's how long it took before Havel was condemned as an enemy of the crown. And even then, he refused to surrender the castle and release my husband. In the end, I raised the money to pay a ransom. And only then, by the grace of Lord Jesus, did I finally lay eyes on my husband once more. Oh, seven years. And was Havel punished for it? Never. And after seven years, my husband returned to me an infirm old man. Sir so Divish seems like a good, strong man. Well, certainly, only he has many concerns. He had to rebuild Talmberg. After he was released, the king appointed him Burgrave of Prague Castle, and he was very busy. He had no time for me at all. But at least we were in the city, and there was something going on. And now, we're here. Oh, yeah. My lady, you're still young and beautiful. Your best years are still ahead of you. Would that that were true, lad. Would it were true. But what am I doing bothering you with this? You have troubles enough of your own. I'll go and let you sleep. I enjoyed our little talk, Henry. Good night, and God bless. Good night, my lady. Don't necessarily know who she is. Is she like the lady of the castle, or? Kinda seems like it. Why is he smiling? Jeez. Family just freaking died. Move it, 
She said that. Help us soon. Don't be coming. Oh, yeah. Henry, wake up. You don't want to miss this. What is it? What's happening? Come to the battlements. One of our patrols reported a company heading here from Skelets. Mm, yeah. I'm sure my leg's still fucked up, too, though. But I sure can stand up, no problem. Take the torch from the table. Torch, if you need a light... Um, so now I know how to arm and disarm now. Um, let's go put my boots back on. Poor quality arrow. Torch. What about the weapon I have currently attached to my waist? Oh, it's a quest item. Damn it! So I will lose it eventually. Here? Upstairs, maybe? Open? You're in a private area. Damn it! Is it here? Doesn't look like it. Maybe it is. Doesn't look like it. Lady Stephanie. What's going on here? What the fuck? Sleeping on the job, eh? What the fuck? What the hell's that? What Me. are you doing here? Looking for my way around, buddy. I don't know. Go to the battlements and talk to Captain Robert. <clears throat> Definitely doesn't look like where I'm supposed to be. What the fuck? You might not even hold out this first defensive. Homburg's a strong castle, though. It can handle a scene. Talking about impending uh, attack, I guess? Here we go. 
Hey, you men down there, tell the people outside the walls to prepare for attack. Quickly, do you understand? All right. What's going on? What's going on? I don't know. It doesn't make sense. Why would Sigismund advance on Talmud in the night? Especially since he's lost the element of surprise after the raid on Scalax. Maybe it's not him. Then who is it? The scouts give his scent to Scarlet, to spy on Sigismund, said he'd set up camp and was getting ready to storm the castle. And so Radzig is an experienced soldier. He'd surely hold the castle for quite some time. It doesn't make sense. What else did the spies see? Not much of anything. Before they could get close enough, this huge storm started. And you were right. Sigismund has a hell of a lot of soldiers, including all manner of mercenaries. An army like that costs a fortune. Well, anyway, we'll find out when they get here, won't we? Aye, we will. Take care. Alright, alright. Oh! They don't look aggressive. Who goes there? Lucifer and all his minions! Who else, Robert? Sir Ansig. What a relief. Is his lordship there with you? Yes, sir. He is right here. What are you doing up so late, Divish? At your age, you need a good night's sleep. <laughs> well, Rantic, you didn't exactly pick the best time for an outing either. In a big hurry? It was a bit of a scramble, all right. Believe it or not, this tempest is a godsend for me and my men. As my old granddad used to say, better a sore throat than a slit throat. I'd say your grandfather was a wise man. Your messenger told us what happened. Messenger? The lad you sent to warn us. He's alive? He made it to you? He's here with me. He only got away by the skin of his teeth, though. Thank God. A brave young man. But tell me, friend, how on earth did you manage to get away? Good Thank question. God for this tempest. When it began, Sigismund's Tatars crawled into their holes and left a storm in the castle for more clement weather. We were able to sneak out right under their noses. Oh, yeah. Lord be praised. We wouldn't have stood a chance against them. Would you like to spend the night in Tumber? No, no. When Sigismund finds the castle empty tomorrow, he might come looking for us. We'd only be exposing you to danger. Without me and my men, he has no call to attack you. What will you do? This then? seems like bullshit. We'll march to Ratai. It's only a short way, and there we'll have a better chance of defense and enough room for all of these people. If Sigismund should come, better bend your knee, Divish. There's no point dying in a battle that's futile. You're right there. Is that boy still with you? I'm here, sir. You have courage, lad. That I can't deny. I am sorry about what happened. Would you care to join us? I'd like to, sir, but first I have to return to Scalitz. Are you mad? What do you want there? I can't leave my mother and father. I won't leave their corpses rotting in the street. I'll join you once I've taken care of them. Don't even think of going back there, you donkey. Are you tired of living? But sir! Quiet! I'm sorry about your father, but getting killed as well won't help him. Divish? Make sure that lad doesn't budge from Talmberg until things quieten down. Not to worry, friend. Anyway, he's injured and needs to recover. I'll lock him up here as if he were Havel of Baldic. All right. I see you've grown a thick skin since your tribulation, sir. But thank you. We'll meet again when circumstances are more favorable. Farewell. Farewell, friend. And good fortune. Give my regards to Sir Hanish. I will. And good luck to you and your people, too. It's a dark times. Move out! True that. Move out! Okay. So I have options? Or am I just supposed to follow them? Probably just supposed to follow them. Men, tonight we'll have triple patrol. Sort out the watches between you as always. And if I catch anyone boozing, playing dice, or slacking off, I'll personally break every bone in his body. I want All you right. to keep a close eye on everything nearby. Sigismund will surely have sent spies, 
and likely men as well, to follow the Scalus people now he knows they've fled. Keep your eyes peeled and report everything to me at once. Understood? No one said shit. Fuck. Henry, I need to have a word with you. Yeah, yeah. What is it you need? I could use an extra pair of eyes, and yours are key. Will you keep watch of the battlements, my men? Is that a request or an order? Interesting. I'd rather it was a request you answered yesterday. Of course I'll help you. I'll have to pay you back somehow after all you've done for me. Splendid. And don't worry. I'll tell the men to relieve you later. Oh, well. yeah. Um. Keep watch on the battlements. Can't see shit. It's just dark as shit out there. Wandering around like a stray sheep. Yep. Must be your first watch, eh? Tis. I don't think anything much will be happening today. You can just lean against the wall and wait till morning. I will. Thank you. Keep watching the battlement. Skip time. If you have to wait for something, you can skip time by pressing select and set how long you want to wait. Watch out, though. Tiredness and hunger grow even during skip time. I can see now. village. Now, I'm not too sure what I'm supposed to do. Am I supposed to wait a little bit more? Does my torch burn out? Oh. What's this? I hear stuff. Oh, shit. What's going on? What the fuck? You told me to go this way. What the hell? Let's go! Let's go! Move it! Let's go! Go to the battlements. Alright. Here we are. self-appointed king wins the love and respect of his loyal subjects. Indeed, Robard. Sigismund of Luxembourg has a rare talent for winning people over to his cause. Yeah, just burn everyone to the ground. Maybe in for a surprise. I don't think he will set his heathen dogs on us today. Greetings, Lord of Tomberg. <laughs> 
That's the bastard who led the attack at Scalis and killed my parents. Don't be an idiot. You don't want to end up like them. I am Sir Mark Vart von Aulitz. I come in the name of Sigismund of Luxembourg, King of Hungary and Croatia, who has resolved to strike against those who disrupt concord in the land and to restore order in the name of his brother, King Wenceslaus IV. Restore order by burning and pillaging the king's estates. Greetings, Sir Markvart. The efforts of the king's brother to bring order to this chaotic land are undoubtedly noble. It seems to me, though, that he and his army have somewhat strayed. As Burgrave of Prague Castle, I am entirely beholden to the king. And here in Talmberg, divine peace reigned until your arrival. To what then do we owe the honor of your visit? Yesterday, his majesty took action against the enemy of the kingdom, Sir Ratzik Kobila, who has been using the silver from the Scalitz mine to fund insurrection against the crown. Unfortunately, the insurgent escaped. Would you happen to know, noble sir, where he might be at this time? As far as I know, the Sir Radzik of which you speak is the king's hetman at Scalitz. I find it hard to imagine that he would rebel against our king. Nevertheless, I can assure you that Sir Radzik is not at Talberg. He would be a fool indeed to flee from one castle where he has little chance of defense to another where he has even less. Or do you take the view that my humble manner is any obstacle to your army? Am I to inform the king then that Zeratsi Kobila is not a Tarnberg and that he has your loyalty? Sir Radzig Kobila is not here, and I have no intentions of getting embroiled in affairs from which I have nothing to gain. Very well, sir. As you wish. I will relay your words to the king in the hope he will be as well disposed as you seem to be. Those who have clean consciences and goodwill may find themselves well disposed even at moments like this. Yeah. When there's little cause for joy. Farewell, sir. Auf Wiedersehen. Auf Wiedersehen. Tells me they're gonna start attacking. No. Okay. My lord, you have my utmost admiration. Get on with you, Robard. Markvart von Alsitz. Bury your loved ones. You want to stick your head out the door now and again, you old idler? First it's pissing down, then roasting hot, then the wind would blow you off your feet, and the next thing it's dead calm. I wouldn't be surprised if we had snow. It's always ah. been like that, though. Anyway, if it does snow, I'll just drag the sledge out of the barn. You're just mocking me now. I wouldn't dream of it. Well, joke all you like, but I heard it snowed in Sternberg only a week ago. Nonsense. Who told you such a thing? It's true, I swear. <laughs> the wife's brother goes that way with eggs and milk. He says there was nothing care. down below the castle, but up top the snow was ankle deep. The weather's gone mad, I tell you. You say that all the time. 
little shadow on the ground. There's not many brigands roaming around. You never know if you'll come home from the fields alive. And the nobles are doing nothing about it. Ah, not a thing. Absolutely nothing. Plagues? Freezing winters? For harvests, and now we've armies invading and pillaging. I tell you, Judgment Day is coming. People are, uh, not happy. It hasn't come out of the woods any time now. It's slaughterous all. They won't Jeez. come back. Why would they? We'll stay here all. Nobody's very happy. Um, where am I supposed to go? And I already forgot. Surprised that uh, Sir Ragzig didn't ask for a sword. Bury your loved ones in Skullbits. Talk to Sir Robart. Get a horse. Inspect horse, mount horse, steel horse. Dervish horse. You can just straight up steal a horse. I'm not gonna do that. These people have been nice to me so far. To you, he's not up here. He's probably by the gate. Damn it. We escaped certain death by the Mary, mother of God. Where am I supposed to go? Raymond, stay here overnight. Good, solid job. What the hell? Is this Robert right here? Jeez Louise. God be with you. So, Robart, I need to get to Scallets. What would you do there, lad? Sigismund might have left, but the place will be swamped with robber barons, brigands, deserters, and other vermin. And anyway, your lord commanded you to stay here. My parents died there, and I won't leave them to be ravaged by dogs. I have to bury them. Lost Good reputation. God, boy. Do you want to throw your life away for those who can never get theirs back? Do you think that's what they'd want? Forget it. Why did Sigmund raid? What happened in Gutenberg? Gutenberg? Well, I'm just a simple soldier, but the good Lord gave me ears. And I've heard some things from Sir Divish and from those who fled from Sigismund's pillaging. Were there many? Indeed. But it was the Kutenberg mercenaries who came to see me, because I knew them from before. I see. Listen, lad. These are all games of the high aristocracy. In Prague, a cabal of nobles rebelled against King Wenceslas, wealthy aristocrats who took against our king for reasons of their own. There's no doubt Sigismund had his fingers in the whole affair. Him and Wenceslas's cousin, Jobs. And that cabal helped him abduct the king. So then why did Sigismund attack Kuttenberg? Why do you think? Because it's a fertile place with full granaries that could feed Sigismund's troops? <laughs> That's not it. King Charles, may God grant him eternal glory built Prague into a proper royal city, while King Wenceslas took a liking to Kutenberg. After Prague, it's the most important city in Bohemia, in the entire Holy Roman Empire. 
He who commands the Kutenberg silver is king. So Kutenberg sided with Wenceslas because he favored it. Now you're starting to understand. Okay. When Sigismund imprisoned Wenceslas and took control of Prague, the people of Kutenberg began to raise an army against him. So with the attack on Kutenberg, Sigismund killed two birds with one stone. He defeated Wenceslas's most powerful allies before they could stand against him and also gained immense wealth. You Where know did these humans? humans come from, anyway? I don't know much about them, only what the Chamberlain said. That they came to Hungary from the east and settled there. They're godless barbarians and merciless fighters. The nobles used to say the Hungarian king shouldn't enlist them, because they dishonor our rules of warfare. But when there's power and money to be had, it seems that honor isn't worth my spit. And believe me, it's always about power and money. Mm-hmm. But he said no. Get a horse and get out of the castle. God be with you. What do you think about Sigismund withdrawing? It was a stroke of good luck. I know everyone says how clever Sir Divish is and all that, but it was a dangerous situation. That Sigismund is awful, unpredictable. He abducts the king, raids towns, brings foreign mercenaries into the heart of our country. God alone knows what he'll get up to next. Hmm? Farewell. Um, let's go see if there's like... How can I get a horse? Can't talk to him. He's like a stable master? God be with you. It's folk fleeing. Sigmund's army. Can you tell me where I can buy or sell something? Someone to do business with. Well, Votova often gets things the merchants don't have. The last time I saw him, he was by the granary. Try him. He thinks about trade day and night. Okay. I'll be with you. My respects to you. Can we trade? If you've got the coin. May the Lord watch over you. Torch, no armor, I have food. Bandage and treasure map. What? Where did I get a treasure map from? I don't really got anything to sell. God be with you. I need to get out of here. And I need a feather bed with a comely wench in it. But it looks like we'll both be disappointed. Sir Divish gave orders not to open the gate. Oh, yeah. He was specially and not to be let out. Here's Louise. Don't you know who I am? Robert gave me permission. I have to bury my parents. Let me order out. Well, I'm not gonna go don't you know who I am. That doesn't make any sense. 
I don't have any money to pay. I could lie. But he just basically told me that Sir Delvish... Yeah, I'm just going to try for sympathy. My mother and father were left in scallops like carrion. I have to bury them. I can't leave them to the dogs. I'm sorry, my friend, but I can't. You'll have to persuade Sir Robard, or think something up so I don't end up in the shit for it. Otherwise, forget it. Or make something up. Alright, I'll see what I can do. Take care now. Oh. Oh. Them with the strange cloak and iron masks on their faces. Aye, I saw them. For harvests, and now we've armies invading and pillaging, I tell you. Judgment Day. And we have two popes. I'm gonna try Sir Robert again. Why did Sigismund burn down Scalets and then come here too? That's war for you, lad. Certain lords have resolved to take things into their own hands and eliminate anyone who doesn't share their view. Unfortunately, Sir Radzig is one of those. And what's more, he was sitting on a pile of silver that could help King Wenceslas' allies. Hmm. Well, I can't convince him anymore, so I kind of have to probably find something to convince him with. Um... Uh, maybe I'll go talk to the lady. He'll probably, uh, he'll probably help me out. Um, she is upstairs. And this one, I believe. No. Villager, the lady here. In a private area. Mother of God, you look like you've been assaulted. What do you mean? I look fine. What are you talking about? You're just steal a horse? Could just steal one. Mother of God. not down here. Damn it. Walk picking. There she is. The Lord save you. What do you need? I would like to ask your assistance, my lady, if I may be so bold. What's the matter, lad? I need to get out of the castle. You get out of here. Your husband is keeping me here by force. Why, for the love of God, would you want to leave the castle? Bury my parents. I need it badly. It's my duty to bury them. My lady, I know you have a good heart. I can't live with the thought of my parents being left in the mud to be food for stray dogs. How can their souls find peace until they rest in hallowed ground? My dear boy, you'd risk your own life to give them a Christian burial. My heart goes out to you. 
I will do what I can to help, though I'll tremble in fear until your return. But what can I do? If I could just get past the guard at the gate somehow. But... but you can. If you wear a proper suit of armour, oh, yeah. and if he can't see your face, he won't recognise you and he'll let you go. Good thinking. A full suit of armour. You've reached a new level. Get to Townburg and the armor in the guardhouse. Where can I get and where armor? Where can I get the armor? At the armory? Where's that? No shit. In the gate tower. But the soldiers sleep in other places around the castle too, and you might find armor nearby. Really? Well, they'll certainly ask where I'm going. You could tell them Sir Robard sent you to Ujits to ask the parish priest how the folk there are faring. That sounds reasonable. Thank you, my lady. I must go now. I'm not going to take her money. Take care. Go to the armory, or I can find some laying around, apparently. Easy lockpick. How do you tell if you're getting watched or not? This lock is too difficult. So an easy lockpick is still too difficult. Damn. Hmm. Get out of my way. I'm in a private area. Shit. Sorry. Nothing really in here to steal. Hard. Well, shit. Do I have to wait till nighttime? Feels like that was the tower house. Maybe the other one? That one? Lockpicking is just too hard. I do not know. What is the goal here? I gotta find some armor. Just laying around? Lock picking villagers ash bow. If I steal it, do they notice?
Am I allowed to steal weapons from here? No. Rob? Needle? Oops. A weapon. Short sword. Well balanced. Short sword. Remarkably easy for its well forged point. I feel like I'm going to have to give up my sword eventually here. I'm just going to steal it all. Theft. If you must steal, make sure no one sees you. And you need to be careful when selling stolen goods, too. Try going to a trader as far away as possible from the scene of the theft. Or frighten someone who deals in stolen goods is a matter of course. Long distance arrow, reliable blade. I'm just gonna fucking steal a bunch of shit. I'm assuming my carry weight eventually will uh, be kind of affected here. Nice axe. I'm sure I can sell this stuff in a different area. If I just steal it all. And I'm hoping that maybe I can uh, use this stuff, maybe. So I still need to find armor. Ooh. Very easy. This looks like the place. I'm assuming my carry weight's gonna really get hindered here eventually. Steel, shield. I'm gonna try the very easy lock. Something tells me this is where I'm supposed to. Okay, you learned locks. Learned locksmith. What am I supposed to do? I only have four locks. How, what am I supposed to do? What's the goal here? Go all the way around. Oh, what's this? Turns gold. What am I supposed to do? What's the goal here? What is the goal? Lock picking. In order to pick locks, you must have at least one lock pick in your inventory. Although it's better to have one or two spares, since they get worn with use, and in the worst case, it can break. You start the actual lock picking process by holding A on the lock. You will then see a diagram of the lock mechanism in which you have to find the right spot to insert the lockpick. How close you are to the sweet spot is indicated by the size of the cursor, and it turns gold when you find it. Then, you have to use the lockpick to turn the whole lockpick mechanism. At the same time, you have to coordinate the movement of the lockpick with the rotation of the mechanism. Because the rotation shifts the position of the sweet spot. If you try to turn the mechanism without having the lock pick in the correct position, the mechanism will stick. 
which will damage the lockpick or even break it. Any damage to the lockpick will produce a noise, which can draw unwanted attention, and breaking it will cause an even louder snap. Wow. Wow. So it's like super risky to lockpick as well. When you have... Then you have to use the lockpick to turn the whole lock mechanism at the same time. You have to coordinate the movement of the lockpick with the rotation of the mechanism. I still don't really understand. So I found the sweet spot here. And then what? I have to... Rotate the lock. I don't... Under... Fuck off! I don't even know what I'm trying to do. What am I even trying to do? I don't freaking get it. What are we talking about here? What the fuck am I trying to do? So I'm going to break all my locks even on a very easy, technically a very easy lock. I have no idea what I'm supposed to do. I'm supposed to turn this somehow. Right? I am so fucking confused. Am I missing something here? Coordinate it with the turn. Like, what are we talking about? I don't even know how to turn this thing. I don't get it. What? I don't even know what I'm trying to do. So I'm going to break all my lockpicks just trying to lockpick this because I don't even know what I'm trying to do. I don't understand. Like. What am I doing? Lockpick attempt failed. I just broke all my locks. Cool. That was a very easy lock pick. Sure. That didn't make any sense. I had no idea what the fuck I'm supposed to do there. That really sucks. I'm sure that's like the easiest way to get armor. Great. I'm so confused. That, that really sucked. Like... Losing all of my lockpicks on on a very easy lock. Oh, for fuck's sakes. Now I have someone looking for me. Dude, this game is not easy. I don't understand. No sign of anyone. God knows what it was. That's kind of annoying. I'm not gonna lie. Like, that's very frustrating. It really didn't explain the mechanics of the lockpicking very well. Like, I don't even understand what I'm supposed to do. do. But. I don't fucking get this. I bet you that was probably the easiest way to get armor, and I probably just failed. Because I don't know how to lockpick. That sucks. Where the frickin' hell am I supposed to go? I just went around in a circle. 
Man. Broke all my lockpicks. I'm supposed to go. From the guardhouse above the gate. I literally was just above the guardhouse above the gate. That's that's exactly where I was right there, right? And I couldn't pick a lock. I broke all my lock picks trying to do that. This is very confusing. Hmm. I was just there. I don't want to go back there just to frickin' deal with the same shit I was just dealing with. Do I have to wait until nighttime? Is that what I'm doing wrong? No, she told me to come in here and take armor, and it's like, well, I tried and I failed badly. Very easy, and I couldn't do it. Everything else is hard. I don't have lockpicks. Can't take anything off the shelf there. This fucking sucks, dude. I think that's probably what I was supposed to do. Was this this box right there? But unfortunately, I'm just too dumb to figure out the damn lock picking mechanism of this game. Awesome. Awesome, awesome, awesome. And I probably just lost my ability to do that now. So now I have to find something else to do. God be with you. Well, this doesn't help me. That business with Sigismund turned out well in the end, didn't it? Aye, that was a good start. Next, we need to drive him and his war whores out of Bohemia for good. Damn straight. What do you think about the flight of the Skullets, folk? I'd say Sir Rodzik is a fine lord. He made the most of the situation and saved his subjects. You don't see that very often. He was lucky that big storm came. 
But that's just it. Something happens by chance and you turn it to your advantage. There's not many capable of thinking so fast. I don't necessarily understand. Maybe he was oh, well. running away and did escape, but I feel like there's something more to that. Maybe I'm just looking into things a little too much. Okay, I'm kind of frustrated. I feel like I was supposed to be able to pick those locks and I failed miserably. Um, and now I am screwed, seemingly. So now... What the hell, man? Let's talk to this guy again. God be with you. I need to get out of here. You here again, boy? Didn't I tell you how much trouble I'd be in if I let you of all people out? Man. Private area. Everywhere is a fucking private area, man. Indeed. I was talking to some merchant from Prague about it, and he said it's like that all over. Why is that, mate? Well, the roads ain't safe, so they have to hire armed escorts, and them fellows don't come cheap. On a gang of brigands, like. Aye. They're all over. That dumb Sigismund, I need blood to Sigismund and his heathen cockroach will come out of the woods any time now and slaughter Jesus Christ, be praised. They won't come back. God be with you. We'll stay here overnight to be on the safe side and go back to the fields tomorrow. By tomorrow morning, all our pets will be alive. I just feel dumb. I don't understand. Like, I s definitely feel like that lock, like, that one box is where I was supposed to go and get my armor from. And I just completely failed at it. Even though it says it's optional as the quest, like, it's optional. Get Talberg armor from the house guard above the gate. Or the guardhouse above the gate. I failed at that. Get out of the castle. Optional, get a horse. The oh, fuck! Did you see them horrible foreign soldiers? Them with Good health to you. I already talked to this guy. May the Lord watch over you. Like, why do I care if there's a traitor? Like, I don't have anything to fucking sell. Other than stolen shit, which I'm not gonna sell anything that's stolen at this point. This is rough, dude. God be with you. Farewell. Mm -hmm. Um. Okay. I'm gonna talk to the lady again, I guess, and see... Kind of continue the dialogue and get the money from her, maybe? Of course, she's not in here anymore. Okay. Um... Yeah, yep, 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 yep.
talk to her. God be with you. Ma'am. God be with you. So. What the hell am I supposed to do? Good afternoon. I guess if I needed some food, who should I ask? Who do you think, young man? Me, of course. And if you want something extra, I could help you out with that too. God bless. I'm so confused. God be with you. I'm really trying to not get upset here. I'm I'm getting really frustrated right now. I I have no fucking clue what I'm supposed to do here. Jump off this. I don't know what to do. Say? Jesus Christ be praised. I'm frustrated. I can't. I can't skip time. Kind of thought she said maybe at nighttime they sleep and you can grab their shit. But I can't. Sl I can't wait. Can I go sleep? This is weird, man. I 
can't sleep. Cool! Awesome! Okay. So, I'm... Just... Screwed? Okay, that's a lockpick. Sir Dervish, and... Can't talk to him. I'm just gonna try to talk to her again. God save. Can I help you with anything? My lady, I hope you weren't unduly distressed by the arrival of Sigismund's army this morning. Well, it was to be expected. And thanks to God's mercy and my good husband, there was no more bloodshed. But it's something else that distresses me. Maybe my mind deceives me. But I have an evil foreboding. You, my lady? Surely not. No evil could possibly come to you. I fear something bigger and worse will come. That Sigismund is only another omen of imminent evil. Of great evil. Yeah, I have the same feeling. Do I look like a Talmung soldier, even though what I haven't grabbed I anything? Do I look like a Talmberg soldier? Not quite, Henry. Just look at you. Oh, I see. Well, thanks. Yeah, surprise, surprise. May the Lord watch over you. <sighs> Yay! They're in a private area. Mother awesome. of God! Awesome. This is awesome. This, this, this is uh, this is pretty cool. God be with you. Is there someone here who trades in goods? Hungry, are you? You should go and see the cook. She's good-hearted, especially if you come with some coin. <laughs> don't have any coin. I don't know why I'm or asking for else, a traitor when I... see a fellow I... called Votava. Don't have Folk any aren't too fond coin. of him, because he's as surly as a wet cat. But he can get you just about anything. I saw him by the granary. You'll recognize him easy. He looks like he's never had a decent meal in his life. Oh, yeah. God be with you. I'm going to talk to him again, even though I've already talked to him, and I don't have anything to sell or... My respects to you. Can we trade? <laughs> if you've got the coin. I don't. They cost 14 gold to buy one lockpick. And I just broke four of them in a row. So what do I do I just buy torches from him? 
or sorry, lock picks. Damn, I. This is risky, man. I don't know how to use the lock picks. So I literally might be doing this. Dude, what the fuck? Can we trade? If you've got the coin, I'll be with you. Sell that. Sell the mace. I get 40 gold for that. And if I... Buy lockpick. Three, three lockpicks. I would pay two nine. Jeez, Louise, they're expensive. I don't have confidence, and I'm gonna fucking get the lock there. Why is the needle so much? Oops. Maybe I don't sell this. Well, damn, the reliable blade is even more money. I have no idea what I'm doing. So, 20, 20, and 1. This goes 24, 19, and 1. I get 64, but he doesn't even have that much money. I get 44. Can we do something about the price? I'm buying three sure. fucking lockpicks. Why not? For the price of like a freaking sword and like, dude, this is stupid. I'm not even gonna freaking. I'm not even gonna make this. This is gonna be a waste of money. <laughs> I'm so worried about this. Here, with a little something on top for a good. Oh idea. shit! I just gave him more money My than. Word. Thank you kindly. Sure, like I know what I'm doing. Holy shit, dude. I just gave him more money. I say, yay, yay. How do you fucking play this game? I accidentally gave him money, rather, like, what? I'm sure I got money out of that. I just didn't. I, that wasn't a haggle. I just gave him a better deal. Yeah. Wow. Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. So I guess we try this again? In order to lockpick, must have at least one lockpick. Actually picking locks by holding A on the lock. We'll then see a diagram of the mechanism. You have to find the right spot to insert the lockpick value. Lockpick is indicated by the size of the cursor and then it turns gold when you find it. 
Then you have to use the lock pick to turn the whole lock mechanism. At the same time, you have to coordinate the movement of the lock pick with the rotation of the mechanism. As the rotation shifts the position of the sweet spot, and you have to adjust accordingly. If you try to turn the mechanism without having the lock pick in correct position, the mechanism will stick, which will damage the lock pick, even break it. Any damage, yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, here a guard walking by. Kind of worry if I break a lockpick, he's gonna hear me. Okay, so I have like it goes small, goes small, goes large, goes larger, goes larger, and then it goes gold right there. Don't I don't know what I'm supposed to do. I have two lockpicks left that I just paid for. Holy shit. This is very easy, apparently. This is supposed to be very easy. I just lost all my picks. Awesome. Well, that's where I'm going to end it today. Um, This kind of sucks that I don't really understand what I'm supposed to do here. So, but uh, that's where we're going to end it today. Uh, if you liked what you saw, feel free to drop a like and subscribe. It would really help a lot for my channel to grow. I'd appreciate it a lot. Till next time. Peace.